All right, welcome everybody. We're gonna talk about the music staff today. And on the screen right now is a image of the music staff. And the music staff has five lines and four spaces. And we always count the lines and spaces from bottom to top. So if we look in at the screen where my mouse is, we have the bottom line, which is one. The one above that is two. The middle line is three, the one above that's four, and the top line is always five. Same thing with the spaces. The bottom space where my mouse is is one, and then two, up to three, and finally up to four. When we have the music staff, we also have this fancy squiggle thing over on this side right here, and it's called the treble clef. And the treble clef is what tells us the names of the notes that go on the music staff. Excuse me. So when we're looking at the music staff, if we were to put notes on here, this treble clef to the side tells us exactly which notes they are. That's how we're able to read them. But all we're going to focus on this week is being able to tell high notes from low notes on the music staff. So if we look here, I've added two notes for you. The note that's going to be a higher pitch, meaning it's going to be up here, it's a higher sound, okay, is going to be the one that's higher up on the staff. So this note is on line three, and this note over here is on line two. And line three is higher than line two so we know that this first note is going to have a higher pitch a higher sound than the note next to it which is right here all right and we can look here too and we can see the same thing this note is way higher on the staff than this note over here and that's what makes us aware that this first note is going to be a higher sound and this note will be a lower sound right but notes can go on lines and on spaces. So here's another example of notes on a line. And here's an example of notes in the spaces. All right. They can be on lines or spaces. And they don't have to be super spread apart either. Okay. These notes are far apart like across. But they're only one line away from each other. But one note is still higher than the other note. And we know that this first note is still higher than the second note because it's on the line above it. Okay, just like here, we know that this first note is higher than the second note because it's on the space above it. Okay, it doesn't have to be a huge leap. It can be close together and still be a higher pitch. All right. So there's your really brief introduction to highs and lows and the music staff. And now I want you to go check out our Google form under our Empower assignment so that you can test your knowledge on the music staff.